The bite and cold has engulfed Delhi as people wake up to foggy mornings. While the privileged tuck themselves in the warm blankets wearing cozy clothes, the homeless on the other hand without proper clothes have to crumble on the courts, stairs of the subway, footpaths, spend night near the manholes with dirty water oozing out, and others are seen in the parking garages. The tall claims made by the Delhi government with regard to providing adequate shelter to the homeless during winters has been exposed threadbare by people themselves. The harsh winters and chilly winds are adding misery to the lives of the people living in shelter homes. According to census reports, Delhi has over 46,000 homeless people. In order to make winters bearable for the homeless, they are accommodated in the shelter homes. There are currently 200 night shelters in Delhi. According to a media report, the Delhi Urban Shelter Improved Board stated that for the winters, they have added 277 beds for the homeless. As the winters wrecking havoc, the DUSIB said that it is accommodating more people than the capacity of the shelters. However, the claims of the officials have fallen flat on their face as the people living in these shelters have a different story to tell. They stated that they were being merely used to fulfill the vested interests of the politicians who made false promises and little was done to improve their condition. A woman at the shelter named Sony claimed that the condition at the shelter is terrible. She added that they received nothing like food or blankets to provide them warmth during the bitter cold. Another woman from the shelter furiously told us that they, along with their children, have to survive near the dirty water of the manholes. When we asked an old woman sitting right outside the shelter home on the pathway about her condition and about the help she gets from the government, the lady told us that earlier help poured from the people. However, now no help is provided. Expressing her anguish, the woman said that during the elections they were used as vote banks. However, now that the elections are over, none of the politicians come to meet or help them. A man living with his wife and a child told us that in the past they were provided with grains and blankets. However, now they are at God's mercy. After seeing the plight of those who have to sleep in the biting cold under the sky on a chilly night, humanity has nosedived. It is heart-wrenching that these destitutes are merely being used as vote banks and little is being done to address their woes. It is time to do some introspection and make the chain beyond the need.